Greetings, Quiche Lanes. Quiche Prime here with my live reaction of Unordinary, episode chapter 233, last installment. Um, John saved Adrian from the thuggish ne'er do well dudes. I don't know if they're just general thugs who gave him some cash when he needed it, or if they're actually affiliated with some kind of organization like a mob or something so i don't know but uh yeah could be criminal enterprise or it could just be random dudes <clears throat> <coughs> hmm, excuse me but yeah john saved him and uh yeah that's where it picks up it's like are you all right uh, adrian uh, uh yeah i I read his name tag as a thought bubble. Oh, God. Um, I just now realized that his name tag is the same color as his talk bubbles. Why? Good Lord, my brain. <clears throat> you don't need to thank me. Huh? Hmm? I, I can't put my finger on it, but he seems a bit different from the last time we spoke. He's been thinking. Ugh, I've lost my shit again. Yeah, but you stopped. Only because you were like, uh, no, John, you know, that trope where, you know, usually it's a lady and then they hug the guy during such a moment. But this time it was a dude helping another dude. You really listened and you let him go. <clears throat> Pfft. Hmm? Huh? Hearing you say that as if it's some kind of huge accomplishment. It, it kind of is, John. <laughs> um, makes me feel like even more of an idiot. No, don't make it like that. To be honest, John, I always thought you were the coolest guy. I really admired your strong attitude, and watching you defeat all the challengers made me proud to be your friend. It's just that eventually it became hard to celebrate. Yeah, well, through the brutal beatings because your victories didn't really feel like victories anymore. Yeah. But just now, you were different. So I got excited because it felt like a real win again. Aw. <clears throat> I need water. <clears> hmm, <throat> excuse me. John, you're really awesome. Aw. John's surprised by this and like, oh crap, my, my shift still isn't over yet. You really gonna go back to work looking like that? Yeah, you kind of bloodied up right now. Oh, and he wipes it off. Better? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> oh well, you'll have to do. And he runs on and says, gotta run. Okay, gotta run. <clears throat> he slows down. By the way, John. If you plan on staying in New Boston for a, a while longer, maybe we can catch up sometime. Oh, I think John would like that, and he's kind of surprised by it, and he's like, sure. Oh, and that's the end of, nope, that was not the end of the, I was like, wait, why is the title there? <laughs> oh, God, my brain. That was a long one. That was like a third of the page down. Hmm. Okay, back at John's home. Sorry if you can hear background music and stuff, and just... I'd try not to have them, but it's like I couldn't turn the volume down. Eh, my mom's watching the CMT Awards. I think that's what it was. But anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah. There's William, and he's doing something, I assume, with his next book. Let's see. John? Oh, hey, Dad, you're back. He's like, hmm. He sees that he's been injured. John, what the hell is this? Nothing, Dad. How many times do I have to tell you? You don't always have to boil over before defending yourself. He wasn't defending him, sir. And it's like, so he's wrapping him up. Dad, I tried. Tried what? Tried to reason with them? Ow. Pair of aggressive loan sharks. You think talking to them is going to make a difference? All right, so talking is pointless, and I'm not trying to hurt anyone. So what the hell do you want me to do? Those aren't your only options. You don't 
always have to choose an extreme. You're strong, so show your strength. Judge for yourself the amount of force you need to stop a fight from breaking out. You can be proactive about these things, John. <clears throat> I mean, to an extent. What does he do? Huh? I already told you, Dad. Every time I use my ability, someone gets hurt, badly hurt. It's because the only times you allow yourself to use your ability are when you're too angry to control yourself. I mean, kind of. <clears throat> That's usually when he does turn it on. But then again, other people are also in an aggressive sense by that point. So then he has a power to copy and then it just makes the situation worse. <sighs> he uses his too reactively, I think. So, yeah. <clears throat> Thank John. I bet you can't remember the last time you used your ability to de-escalate a situation. I mean, yeah. Usually just curb stomps everyone. And yeah, he's thinking of all the times as Joker. Uh, ooh, excuse me. And then attacking, um, Sicily? I swear I never going to get her name right. And then against Blyke. And then against uh, Remy and Arlo. And then against Serafina. There's a hair. Yeah. In my mouth. Yeah. Right? You're afraid of what you'll do. So you haven't tried. And that's the problem, John. By suppressing your ability, you close all your options. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> Good. So you end up trapping yourself. John's actually kind of like, shit, <laughs> he's right. Now I want you to tell me the truth. What did they do to, uh, to you during those readjustment classes? Uh-oh. Uh, Dad, why are you... Tell me. Isn't it obvious? I didn't know my place. I was too violent and I was a threat to everyone around me. Those classes fixed me. How specifically did they fix you? <clears throat> now he's thinking about all of the the reliving. And he he uh. So the trauma's coming up, and uh, William can see it, and he's like, "Son, just tell me." It's okay, John. It's just us. Say what you need to say. <sighs> I, he just showed me all the things I did wrong in the past. And he made me reflect on them over and over and over and over and over until it's boiled over and you became a monster. And he made, uh, showed you how. He dug into my memories and replayed them every day. What? Every day? <laughs> Continuously every day. No wonder he refuses to use his ability. No wonder he lost his confidence. Uh-oh. William ain't happy about this shit. This is bad. He's going to... No. Those memories still pop into my head pretty often. But they stop me from fucking up. So it's alright. And he's like, no. John. <clears throat> and pulling him in for a hug. He's like, Dad? No, John. It's not alright. Shit, I can't believe what they did to you. And he's like... And, you know, he kind of like has him at arm's length now. John, you can use your past as a reminder for, for what not to become. <clears throat> but you also have to remember that the person in those memories is not who you are right now. Your ability belongs only to you. So what you do with it is your own choice. As long as your direction is clear, you don't need to be afraid. Thanks, Dad. I know that holding myself back isn't a solution. I'm still trying... Uh, trying that... That should have a two in there. Trying to work my shit out. He's been constipated lately. Um, because I don't want to stay stuck like this either. Uh, we talked a lot just now. I need some time alone to let it sink in. So, he's leaving. William isn't happy. So, 
that's what happened. His fist shakes in anger. The authorities didn't fix him at all. They broke him. Okay, so John's awake in bed. And now he's reflecting on what his dad said. The only times you allow yourself to use your ability are when you're too angry to control yourself. He's right. All the times I was picked on, all the times Sarah was picked on. I could have done something, but I was too scared. Every time I failed, I felt more and more useless. My anger and frustration kept building until eventually I was I just wanted to hurt everyone. I can't. I can't keep do going on like this. Now he's thinking of John. You're not a failure as long as you take responsibility and put in the work to get better. And now Claire, I'm glad this is what you decided and I hope you'll keep your word. And now Adrian, just now you were different. I got excited because it felt like the real win again. And Seraphia, why not give yourself a chance and trust yourself for once? And now he's like, I want to, I want to try. Three weeks later. Okay. <laughs> John! Get up. There's a call for you. What? Yawning John? Give him one sec. He just woke up. I bet it's Seraphia. Who is it? He's like, Good morning, John. Oh. Oh, it's Vaughn. Um. Headmaster Vaughn? I didn't mean to uh, keep you waiting. It's quite alright. How are you doing, John? It's been a month since you've... Uh, since we've spoken. Oh, I'm fine. Feeling a lot better. That's good to hear. So I called today because I wanted to know if you were ready to come back to school. You see, with your current grades and attendance, I'm afraid catching up for you will be difficult if we extend your suspension any further. Of course, if you're not ready to return yet, we'll just re-enroll you as a third year once next semester starts. It's up to you. Oh, but I'll need an answer from you soon. Um, sir? Hmm? Yes. I think I'd like to come back. Oh. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> John is furthering his progress, which is always a great thing, especially for a character, you know, that you, you come to like and everything, and uh, just like... I liked him from the get-go, but then, you know, as we learn more about him as a character and whatnot, you know, I just, my liking of the character kind of wavered in more recent bits of the series, but overall, I still like John. So, him having this moment of where he's starting to really take in and absorb all of the, you know, the aspects of himself that you know people are pointing out to him so then he can focus on fixing those things is really going to be beneficial for him in his healing process and now that he's had you know a month to absorb and adjust to this i'd like to see where his progress is now now the whole thing of like using his ability to you know um what's the word Uh, de-escalate yes uh, a situation like I could see him kind of tripping up someone not beating them into the ground but really just messing with them using their own abilities you know in interesting ways like he could do that without really harming them you know like if a speedster for instance you know like he could you know just run circles around them confuse them you know make them you know you know, hinder them in different ways, trip them up, whatever, you know. So, yeah, he, he could do things like that without it being like a full-on fight and be like, this is what I can do when I don't mean any harm. Now, do you want me to, you know, escalate this situation? Or do you want to just walk away given the chance? You know, things like that, he could, you know, it'd be a thinly veiled threat but then he doesn't have to actually do anything unless they want to escalate. 
So I think that could be a way that he could use his abilities. Now, be it, um, you know, with his martial arts and stuff, people are probably going to, you know, escalate a situation and activate their abilities because most people don't train their bodies or anything to it seems like in this universe which i have to imagine is going to become a thing in the series later on where we're going to see more people that use martial arts in conjunction with their abilities to be the most powerful they can be uh, it's just not common it seems like at least in a school setting because you know people are just all dependent on their abilities so much that they don't you know train themselves beyond that point so so i would like to see that more in the future you know as more threats and bigger threats now that uh the whole thing uh with william which i should discuss now <clears throat> will be coming up okay now that William knows what happened to John during his re-education um, yeah those uh, readjustments were not readjustments they were basically a trauma factory trying to you know subjugate him in some way mentally and it worked and now he doesn't use his ability except when under the the greatest forms of distress and or duress not distress and frustration and anger and everything instead of just being able to use his ability freely as you know everyone else can freely use their abilities he chooses not to use his so I'm I'm hoping that nothing happens to William because you know what I've been saying it for weeks now that's when things are gonna happen is that, you know, they're going to pull him aside, possibly arrest him for, like, him him trying to do something against the government. Then we're going to get, um, probably John in trouble. Maybe that's actually, if that is, like, say, John's uncle in that one, um, vision... Is the reason why he comes into the picture is because he is John's only legal guardian by that point you know if uh, William gets arrested you know John's mom isn't alive or at least not in the yeah she's not alive I think that's been confirmed I forget you know me and little details I don't always remember but then again I don't remember big stuff sometimes either so so please correct me if I'm wrong, but if she's dead or just not in the picture, that might be his uncle and then be a legal guardian in the case of William's disappearance or arrest. <clears throat> is what I'm assuming is probably going to happen to him. He has no ability, so he has no authority over the authorities. So... So that's going to be a problem, and then we'll probably get a whole thing with Seraphina, and they'll want to know, like, where her powers, you know, how they came back. And then that'll lead to the Spectre organization, and then that'll get Layla in trouble, and just, it's going to be a problem when uh, uh, William decides to confront the authorities about his son. But, uh, yeah... But yeah, overall, I'm liking the progress that John has made, and now he's decided, you know, it's time to go back to school, give him the choice. So let's see where his progress is, you know, soon. I'd like to see what he has done. Um, I'm sure it'll maybe be a bit of a struggle in practice, you know. When you think you, like, you build it up in your head how you're going to react to something, and then you don't react the way you thought you would you know it takes like actual practice of something and like say firefighting for instance they're trained you know to do things in a specific way under extreme duress because otherwise human response of fight or flight in their case they fight the fires but in most cases people are running away from the fires the flight response so it's like yeah you see what i mean like you he might have to you know 
earlier on after returning to school he might still be a little more of using his ability when angry but i think over time he'll use it more in the like just using it to kind of mess with people to like you know kind of give a flex and kind of giving a threatening aura without horribly beating them and then it just it diffuses situations maybe but uh I'm sure it's going to take a little time for him to, you know, build up that practice to where that's actually how he uses his abilities instead of waiting until his anger boils over and then he beats the shit out of people, so. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think that's about all I have to say about the chapter. Um, anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know, along with your own thoughts and opinions on the chapter. Um... Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Um, hmm, nose is itchy. Uh, help me reach 500 subs by the end of uh, June. 500, 500. Uh, links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. Now my mustache itches. No! Um, but anyway, the... Um, Links down below, like I said, I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keeshlings, John's getting better, and I'm proud of him.